Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. Today we're working on the Audi Q7. This is the uh, 4L model fitted with the 3 litre uh, V6 TFSI engine and uh, what we're going to be doing in this particular video is just having a quick look around the engine bay pointing out some of the major components as we go. Let's take a quick look. Okay so we might as well start in this corner. Uh, this is your uh, coolant expansion uh, reservoir. So obviously that's where you're going to be topping, over your, topping up your coolant when you do your uh, coolant changes and uh, you can also take that off to, uh, to check the level Level, and never remove that when the engine's hot and uh, here's obviously your uh, washer fluid uh, filler and then next to that uh, this unit here is actually your air box uh, the air filter is kind of long and rectangular and fits down in this manner actually goes down quite deep uh, we're actually going to do a, an air filter change on this car we'll have a link for you in the descriptive text below you might want to check that out uh, in front of that uh, obviously we've got the, uh, the rear of the uh, headlight right here and uh, you've got some beam uh, adjusters uh, just on the uh, top just there so coming off the back of the air box just here we have the main uh, air hose uh, bringing uh, cold air into the engine and we'll have a, a throttle body to control that uh, just on the very end of the hose just in there and just next to that down here on the side of the engine uh, obviously we've got uh, three coil packs three on each side it's a v6 uh, engine so we have uh, six cylinders three on each side uh, underneath these uh, coil packs is where the uh, spark plugs uh, live uh, these literally just slot onto the heads of the, uh, the spark plugs we're going to be doing a full spark plug change uh, on this particular car uh, so again we'll add a video for you below so you might well want to check that out as well uh, also you may well have uh, noticed these uh, these little uh, hooks just here it's actually four of these which is un unusual see another one there and then two on the uh, opposite sides uh, usually uh, very often on Audis they only have two uh, in opposing corners this is actually for the removal of the engine so you can attach uh, an engine crane or whatever you need to to uh, take the weight of the engine so that's what these are for and then looking down the front of the engine obviously right on the front here we have our main uh, cooling fan and then moving over to this side you'll actually see that there's uh, two belts uh, on this car you normally look down you expect to see one uh, auxiliary drive belt uh, but as we can see we've actually got two one in front of another you can see it quite clearly just here there's one and there's the other the one that's uh, right on the uh, the front uh, you'll see it comes off of the uh, off of the crank uh, down here it comes around and powers uh, this pulley here that's actually for the uh, for the turbo so that's what's um, delivering um, power to your turbo and then the one that's behind that is the kind of more traditional uh, auxiliary drive belt so right down in this uh, corner right down here uh, where that belt goes uh, that is your alternator and uh, if you follow that belt around and you can see the belt comes off to this side and just at the top there uh, that'll be your um, the top unit there will be your power steering pump and that you'll see that there's another unit directly below that and that is your uh, air conditioning pump. Moving around to the opposite side of the engine, uh, tucked away at the back here, uh, this is your uh, oil filter housing. So when you do an oil change, uh, your oil filter lives in there. Again, we are going to do a full service on this vehicle, so we'll add links for you below. You can have a look at those if of interest. Obviously, is your oil uh, filler right here. So that's where you're going to be refilling your oil when you do your service. And again, same thing as the other side. We've got three coil packs, uh, three spark plugs. Uh, we have a dipstick uh, on here as well. Uh, not all... Um, uh, three litre uh, petrols of this age uh, have a dipstick uh, Audi have replaced the uh, dipstick or rid of it and you have to look the oil up on the onboard computer system there is no dipstick but thankfully on this one there is that makes life a little bit easier for us uh, just to the side of that uh, this, these are the AC uh, the coolant lines for your, uh, air conditioning and you see we've got the other uh, two ports uh, just here and right next to that you see with a little uh, cap on just there that is your um, boosting point uh, for your battery uh, also your charging point so if you want to do anything with your battery you, you connect your uh, charger uh, there for the, um, for the positive and your negative is actually attached onto this one here uh, which is bolted directly onto the uh, chassis of the car and up behind that uh, lift, yeah lift that up you can see that's your uh, it's your brake fluid uh, reservoir uh, tucked away uh, just up in there and uh, just in front of it uh, here we have this is for your uh, power steering so this is your power steering fluid uh, reservoir and usually they have a little dipstick built into them yeah this one's the same so you see oh just over the uh, minimum mark so it's got a little built-in uh, dipstick uh, so we'll top that up uh, later as well uh, but that's how that works and 
you ever want to identify your um, your power steering pump, the easiest way is to look at this and then look at the lines that come off. And I don't know how well it shows from the video, but this line uh, comes off straight into this uh, unit right here. So that's a good way to identify uh, what's doing what. So that's definitely your uh, your power steering pump. And in front of that, you have your uh, obviously your other headlight. And again, you've got your uh, adjustment uh, adjustment screws uh, just there as well. So those are some of your uh, major components and your more kind of DIY orientated components. I uh, hope this video has been uh, helpful for you. If it has, can you please do us a quick favour in return? Always be sure to hit that like button for us. And if you could hit subscribe, it really does help our channel out. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel or our website, totaltechnic.com, where we have literally hundreds more Audi videos waiting for you to check out. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again.